Hello, hello everybody. Happy Wednesday, I think we're at. So I'm actually streaming. This is what I love about technology and I love about social media. I'm actually streaming into one group up here and into my normal page down here. So hello everybody in both of my groups. In our Crack the, Create, Crack the Freedom and Time Code group, it's Wellness Wednesday. So that's why I've got it in there. And then in normal world, well, you know what? I just love to share and you guys all know that about me. So you're going to have me across both screens because I think technology is amazing. Normally at lunchtime, I would be out meditating and walking but it's raining so I'm going to be sitting right here with you all and we're going to get into some really cool conversations because that's what I love to do so uh, if you enjoy this like share and comment if you're watching the replay give me a hashtag replay just because that's fun you know so today's conversation is eight reasons why entrepreneurs and small businesses fail as you jump on give me a wave so I'm going to relate this back in through everything. So bear with me because we're going to get into like the, the businessy sort of stuff, but then we're also going to get into the woo-woo and the health and the genetics of all of it. Now, I could sit here and talk about financial, but that's not my strength. You all know that with small business and starting something up, you need to have capital and money or you need to be very strategic around those things. That's not my genius of conversation, so we're not going to have that conversation. So instead, what we're going to talk about is a little bit more of the 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 icky feeling that the soul of what this actually gets to mean. So eight reasons that entrepreneurs and small businesses fail comes down to number one, clearly defining and understanding your market, your customers and their buying habits. We are 100% unique and I'm so excited to now be presenting to different groups in the communities about your individualized, personalized health, but also your personalized branding. How many of you have sat there and done ads and, and, and whatnot and you're sitting there marketing to everyone and not quite sure how to really hit your target market? Everyone talks of these avatars, but what we fail to actually realize is that your avatar is actually a specific genetic health type because they speak your language they see the things the same way you do they feel things the same way you do and maybe they understand things the certain way you do so instead of us sitting here trying to be in a world where we're attracting everybody we need to understand there's actually six different categories that we really need to be looking at things within um, failure number two is failure to price your products and services correctly value yourself and they will value you. So looking at, and I did a post about this earlier, if you missed it, go watch it, go have a look at it, I mean. So valuing your product. If you don't value your product, they won't value your product. If you don't value your product, they will see through the veil of the crap and see that you don't understand what you're putting out there, you don't value what you're putting out there, and you still have a lot of work to do on yourself. So this is the point where you have to go back in and check yourself before you wreck yourself and understand where are you not in touch with your own value. What are you missing? Like, where are you dropping the ball on how great you are? Because I guarantee once you tap into that and you understand how great you are as a human being and the service that you're providing, you'll then understand what it's worth and people will understand what it's worth and they'll get you and they'll want to work with you because they see your value. Ah, enlightenment. Three, failure to anticipate um, or react to competition, technology, and other changes in the marketplace. The one thing that you can guarantee is change. Nothing is ever going to stay the same. And if you're one of those people who's fearful of change and fearful of adapting, you're going to get left behind. You are going to drop the ball and you are going to lose your people and your sparkle. The other part of that is understanding to stay in your own freaking lane. Like how many of us have jumped into the online world or jumped into business or jumped into being a brand and we're like, must be all the things, must do all the people, must have all the things and the colors and I must do it all. And we get into this overwhelmed state where we lose our true identity. We lose our greatness. If there was a bunch of drones out there all looking, sounding and being the same, we wouldn't have the society we have. So please remember that when you're going, doing anything, your sparkle, your shine, your ability is exactly what people are looking for. They don't want another Joe blog because there is a Joe blog. So show up and shine your greatness and be everything that you need to be because nobody needs to see another of the same. You're born with your greatness and it's meant to be shown, it's meant to shine. Um, and the truth is, if you're not staying in your own lane and being you and attracting your tribe and your people, the truth is you can't handle everyone. None of us can handle everyone, not a soul. 
You need to understand that you're only here to attract your tribe and your people. But what is that, you ask? Well, that's where you really get to get clear on who you are, what your message is, and the people, the genetic makeup of the people that you want to attract so that you are only speaking to their soul from your soul and their energy from your energy. Connecting with like-minded people is now actually down to specifics of their genetics. Pretty cool, right? So, um, overgeneralization. Trying to do everything for everyone else trying to do everything the same as everyone else. You're running the same road and you're ruining yourself. You're spreading yourself too thin because you're trying to be, do all the things. Like trying to spread yourself too thin. This is hilarious I'm saying that because right now I'm like, this screen, that screen, this screen, that screen. Understanding that spreading ourselves too thin, I spent nine years doing this. I'm going to be a miner. I'm going to be a chef. I'm going to be a PT. I'm going to do this MLM. I'm going to do that MLM. But I can make it all work. I can do all the things and still have a tribe. Burnout. Hello. We get to understand that when we try to do all the things and be everything for everyone, we are nothing to no one. So totally staying in your own lane and being your own greatness. Over independence. Now, how many of us have done a program or done um, working with clients and you are literally sitting there and you've got this codependent person and they're like, but me, but me, but me. And you're like, how do I do me and then do all of them at the same time? Like, how can I service everyone? And it's really getting into this space of going, you know what? I need to make sure that I have my vessel. I need to make sure that I have my strength, my stamina, my message and codependent clients as much as this nice and it feels good that they love you and they want to be with you and they want to work with you you need to have your boundaries in business of any shape or size in branding all of it your branding your your boundaries are an absolute must without the foundation of a building it crumbles without your boundaries you get flattened you get blown away with the wind and forgotten make sure that you have your own boundaries in place don't drop, oh, I wrote this laughing. This is me. I laugh at myself. Don't drop your pants to one person because then you will, will be bearing all and you will lose your essence of greatness. So stop dropping your pants. <clears throat> Number six is ego. And I'm totally reading off of this or else I would not remember. Ego. Get rid of it. So you have to learn how to be the founder know how to state the objectives, have a willingness to bring in the need and to accept um, help. If you aren't able to accept help where you need it, you will fail. You cannot be and do all of the things at the same time and serve in your genius. You cannot serve in your greatness if you are worrying about all of the stuff. I have an accountant, a bookkeeper, um, uh, a funnel developer. I have all of this team of people helping me and I'm still only a baby. I'm still only at the beginning. I'm still so far from my goal of being able to help the millions. But do I stop? No. Do I let my ego get in the way? No. I love my ego when she shows up because she's showing me what's the next thing I get to work on. Um, the truly successful people in the world, the ones that really make the millions, they never remove the learner plate. I don't know which way it goes. They never remove the learner plate. You are always going to be learning. And the moment that you think you've learnt it all, you're failing. The moment you think you've learnt it all, you've let yourself down. Because you will never, ever stop learning. You will always, if you are truly living this life and creating your greatness, you will never stop learning and you will never stop trying. Um, number seven. So, failure to act, failure to react, failure to plan. So, learn your true flow. Learn your empowering environment and learn your true dream genius rather than being a frazzled chameleon. What do I mean by that? Stop trying to be everybody else. What I do here in the space, like this day and age with, with health and branding and wellness is you are you. And every time everyone's there going like, I've got, um, I can't say names. Okay, don't say names. So we have many health gurus and um, business gurus and uh, branding gurus and all these people that are out there going, get up early. You should be up half an hour earlier. Why aren't you up half an hour, two hours earlier and do all of this personal development and then get out there and exercise. We are setting ourselves up as a community to flourish with depression, anxiety, failure mentality, and the, the whole, the whole, it's just, just a plethora 
of destruction because we're living in a world where we're allowing ourselves to be dictated to by other people. We're forgetting that we have our own genius. We're forgetting that we have our own blueprint. We're forgetting that some of us actually don't function the same as other people. Imagine that. You have your own greatness. You have your own path. You have your own um, blueprint. And the key is, is in allowing yourself to accept that and to find that and then to run with it and drop all of the ego, all of the facades, all of the expectations and obligations that society, not you, not your DNA, society has decided that you need to live by. Isn't that exhausting? Like, are you sick and tired of being sick and tired of trying to do everything everyone else's way? Wouldn't it be good to be in flow and understand that you can be business, small business, large business, entrepreneurial business, whatever it is in your specific way and it gets to be easy and in flow. And when we allow ourselves to be in that space, creation becomes easy. Finding the right people, attracting the tribe, attracting the right business partners, attracting the right helpers becomes easy. Am I there yet? Am I perfect? Hell freaking no. Because I'm never going to take the learner play off. <laughs> I'm never going to take the learner play off because I know that when I do, I've let myself down. Number eight. Are you a sinking vessel or are you setting sail for success? Your health is your vessel. So, so often the biggest factor that I see people failing in any business of any shape or size is you forget your health. Sure, you can sit there and we can get through work. And I've done it myself time and time again. In fact, I had to check myself just last week. I was like, why am I feeling so agitated and snappy at my partner and his children and my mum and all these things? Because I'm not looking after my vessel. I'm becoming the sinking ship rather than the sailing ship. You have your responsibility to enable yourself to function as a sailing, smooth sailing ship. If you choose to be a sinking vessel, that's your prerogative. But it all comes down to balance, balancing your health, balancing your lifestyle, balancing your environment. Sitting at your computer, working nonstop for hours and hours and hours at end, or being up first thing in the morning and jumping into your masculine working brain, it only serves one or two persons to do that. But you actually might be completely different to that. Your health, movement, the food you're eating, the time you're doing everything in your day needs to be specific to you. Just because Tony Robbins is getting up stupidly early and in the cold and doing all this crazy crap doesn't mean it's going to be good for any of you. Just because, I can't even think of a few, Oprah Winfrey sits there and speaks on stages and, and does all this and has this mindset, oh my God, Oprah Winfrey, we could have a discussion about that woman. I think she's amazing, but people have got it wrong. Oprah Winfrey's not struggling with weight. She's just forgotten that she has the capacity to change the world. Her body screams that she has the capacity to change the world. Her body holds so that she's reminded that she has the capacity to change the world. She does not have a weight problem. She's just not a skinny little Victoria's Secret model. Why can't the world understand that? Your health, your vessel is up to you. And people are sitting here trying to find a template to quickly step into and fix themselves. There is no fixing you. There's only aligning you with this, with this fleshy body, with this fleshy existence. With this fleshy existence that you live in, it's about aligning to that and understanding this part, this part, the belly, the environment, and the time of day that you do everything is the exact structural blueprint that you need to tap into. So the outside external things are important as much as the internal. And we know this, but that is why businesses are failing. Because people go out and they try and do the same as everyone else, be the same as everyone else, and you forget your core essence, your true message of why you started out in this position. Because you wanted to create a difference your way. So make sure that your way is ensuring that you've checked yourself before you wreck yourself. You have your health in alignment. You are doing things in your time frame. You are doing things your way and watch your success flow to you with ease, with grace. Watch your health skyrocket. People do this. They go business, eh, health. And then they go health, eh, business. And then spirituality comes in there and everything's just this wave. It's like, it's like, it's just, it's just crazy. But it doesn't have to be that way. It now gets to be smooth sailing. You now get to set sail on a catamaran. God, they're nice. And just be. Be the greatness. Be the leader. Be the brand. Be the business. Be whatever you are. Be you. It doesn't have to be hard anymore. That's the message I'm getting across here. You are not them and stop wasting your time. 
be you and be all of you that you can be. Yeah, that's enough for today. Have an amazing day, guys. If that triggers you in any way, if you want to have conversations about it in any way, I should drop my Calendly link in there so we can book conversations. That's it. No obligations, just conversations. How great does that sound? Love you all. Have a great day. It is raining here in Queensland, so I'm doing something that makes me feel good. And me feeling good is sharing with the world and sharing my passion, sharing my message. So if you feel like you're stuck, if you feel like the failure, the, 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 the failure things happening like this, like you've got things out of balance, you just need to have a conversation and start to align things again. That's it. That's what this space is. A space for conversation. Have a good day.